Hello, this is Krishna here. Uh, you might have uh, come across a couple of tutorials by Rohan Dalby, uh, which is Grow Ivy um, tutorial in Houdini. And then you also might have come across Simon Fiedler's um, Ivy Growth Solver in Houdini. Now, I, I don't know, but you might have also come across this other, um, not tutorial, but but a clip um, which I created combining these two tutorials. So I'll let you watch it for a second and uh, you know. <clears throat> okay, so if you watched it and uh, it is a combination of uh, these two tutorials here and that's how I got my result. And I wanted to show you how I combined these two tutorials to get this. Therefore, this is a, a Houdini IV tutorial merge. A few things that you need are, uh, first thing is a model. I have this model, um, but I, I cannot give you this because this is a, I think this is a commercial model. Um, so you would need a model. And then you will also need a leaf model and Again, that is, uh, let me see here. Right, there it is. So this is the leak model that I got. And if you watch this video um, on the description, I've given the tutorial one, tutorial two, and where you can download the leak model. So go and check it out. So the those are the two things you would need to start with. And then what you also need to do is you really need to go through Rohan Dalby's um, and Simon's tutorials before you get here because IV1 is Rohan Dalby's tutorial. And let me just move this up for a while. So here's what I got from Rohan's tutorial. So if I just zoom in a little, you can see that's the result. And then if I look at Simon's tutorial, oh, sorry, it's an elephant. Uh, I was just playing with it, so just give me a second. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so this one is from Simon Fielder's tutorial here. And then I have combined these two, creating this one. Okay, so now the reason for this tutorial is because if you were to combine Rohan and Simon's tutorial together, this is what you will get. Which is good, but you can see that the leaves are floating in the air and um, it's not really following um, the, the growth itself because the, the leaves are obviously growing ahead of time. Um, it with respect to the uh, stem so here is the same but with my version okay so if I go in to IV1 to start with so this is literally um, I just went through everything from Rohan's tutorial and IV2 is exactly the same I went through everything with Simon's tutorial Okay, and inside of here, in IV2, what I have done, it, by the way, this is a walkthrough tutorial, so I'm not gonna go um, and build this from scratch, okay? So this is a walkthrough. So this is IV1, um, where I'm just bringing in <clears throat> the leaf, which I will show you what I mean by that. So if you go through Rohan's tutorial, oops, wait a second. If you go through Rohan's tutorial, uh, you will build all this structure here. And what I want to do is bring in only from this part here. See where the out is? Um, so IV1 technically is this from here, okay? Um, just, um, just this part here. And that's about it, all right? And the second one is I'm going to get the curve um, from IV2 
And I also want to show you this, okay, uh, before I get too ahead of myself. So here's the uh, curve I created, and uh, that curve is obviously wrapped around the model, which is clearly explained in Simon's tutorial, okay? What I have also done is that after carve in Simon's tutorial, I've just created a null to say out, car out curve, and I'm bringing that out curve down here in the uh, in the combined version okay and then um, the third one is the full-blown IV2 which is Simon's tutorial and that's coming from the out here which is the out okay so these are the three things so one uh, IV1 get curve and IV2 so with that let's just um, <clears throat> What I created is a point jitter, just to jitter the curve a little. It's not required, but you can do that. And then I created a P scale. Um, I literally copied the create P scale from Simon's tutorial, if you notice here. I literally have done that, apart from the fact that I have taken out the ramp and I created a max scale, okay? So that's what I did there. Um, and then, I copied all of these red nodes represent copies uh, from Rohan's tutorial. So if you go back into IV1, anything from below here, um, actually, let me just pull this down a little, a little bit. Oops. Pull this down a little. And so basically, these two are from here and from time shift all the way um, down to here are these two nodes and then the point is the same as the point here okay now uh, forget about the switch you don't really need it but I'll show you why I have the switch uh, <clears throat> so also I have the time shift and copy three the time shift and copy three from here okay so these are the copies and all of these red nodes are literally copies from there and the create p scale is a copy from simon's tutorial so after you copy what you got to do is bring in you connect uh, simon's um iv2 oops i'm going to refer these two as iv1 and 2 from now on okay so you want to create an attribute transfer to do the transfer of normals from the curve down to iv2 and then you rename that attribute from n to n underscore branches. I mean, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and then you're feeding that into mix n attribute wrangle, where I'm saying n multiplied by the point coming in at number one, which is in this case here. Um, n branches at point num, and then n um, equals n multiplied by two. Now, you don't need to do the second part, but the first part is required, and I'll show you why later. And then you've got this little switch. Well, again, I'll explain to you later. Uh, this point is, again, from um, from IV1, um, from Rohan's tutorial. So I'm not going to go through that. The next one is attribute transfer 4, which connects this copy. This copy 2 here is this lead growth speed so the attribute transfer just transfers the p scale with the condition of you know of 0 0.05 i mean you can change the threshold however you want and then i just created a little leaves color here uh, point color which during during rendering you need to check the point color use point color okay if you're rendering it in mantra and then these two are the previous notes that I explained that, you know, are part of Rohan's tutorial. Uh, let me see here now. Okay, so here's what I got. And if I go outside and, oops, there you go. Too wrong. There you go. Looks, uh, looks pretty good, I think. <clears throat> By the way, I will leave, um, I will give uh, a link to download the... Um, the project file also okay so you 
you know, you can just look at it if you like. So in IV combined, if I look at Y and all of these things, let me just close this one. Go into P. So this is the um, P scale for the leaves, okay? It's literally a, a copy from Simon's tutorial or IV2. Uh, if I now reduce this, you'll see that that changes. So it's to do with the um, leaves P scale. And then down here, if I were to not do the mixture, you see what happens. Uh, I mean, it, it's also good, you know, and that's why I have the switch here. Um, whatever you prefer. If I were to do, see, look, uh, it's all pointing towards one direction. I mean, it is, uh, the rotation is randomized, but it is pointing towards one direction. If you don't like that, then you can just move it to, you know, one. Okay, that didn't work. All right, that's fine. So you can just, you can just disable that and it'll look like that. I mean, it's also good, no problem, but you know, uh, this one uh, appeared better for me during my render. And that's why I have two versions. Um, and then attribute transfer four is to do with the P scale. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, no, actually, no, I won't. This is also, um, I don't remember now what this does. Uh, let me see. Okay, looks like uh, I don't really need that, so you don't you don't need to include that. Okay. All right. So that's uh, basically it, you know. And you can you can get your IV growth like that, combining these two elements. So if I were to combine them just like that, this is the result you will get. And with my tutorial this is the result you'll get of course I'm gonna uh, run it through for you here's the here's the result it's gonna run it through for you now okay okay so um, I hope this tutorial helped you um, if it did and if you liked it please like the video comment share it I'd much appreciate that. And that's all from, from me. Um, have a good day and Happy New Year.